Good afternoon, everyone. I am very pleased to present at this forum. Uh, I am Alpna Dubey, and I am joining this session with my colleague Soma. I lead digital experiences R&D at Accenture Labs, Bangalore, and Soma leads the effort around creative AI and sustainable design. At Accenture Labs, we incubate new concepts and apply the latest technologies to deliver breakthrough solutions for business and society. And we all heard in the previous session that how the consumer closeness to the consumer and personalization is so important. A very much related topic we are going to take in this session is around e-commerce. We are going to walk you through how Accenture is driving the future of e-commerce. So over the last few decades, we have witnessed a huge shift towards online commerce. The current pandemic has accelerated this trend exponentially. But if we look closely, current e-commerce experience still faces challenges of engaging consumers through multiple senses, which makes brick and mortar stores still a preferred choice uh, when it comes to understanding the product through all the senses, because consumers can now have a closer look at a product, they can touch, they can feel it, they can smell it, they can even get a better idea about the dimensions of the product and imagine how it would fit in their own house. It has been also shown that adding more dimensions to the consumer experience increases e-commerce uh, businesses multifold. And I would like to bring upon some numbers over here, what you see. The Ericsson's Consumer Trend Report revealed that by 2030, the internet of senses will impact consumers in many ways, enabling the digitization of senses in variety of contexts. Another study, done by Shopify. It has shown that the product pages, which had 3D model and AR technologies, had actually yielded uh, more conversion up to 250%. Now, imagine a virtual e-commerce in which you can browse products virtually in 3D space, customize it, visualize it, feel it, and feel the texture and even smell it. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are going to present you the future of e-commerce, which will engage consumers multisensorially and offer a rich set of tools to personalize their products and add to their creativity. And by the way, I'm not talking about futuristic concept. These are now possible with advanced AI techniques, computer vision, virtual reality, and multisensory technologies. Over the next few slides, we will walk you through a few assets that Accenture has built to realize this. As we move forward, we will unfold these concepts one by one. And with this, I hand over to Suma. Thank you, Alpna. While shopping for a product, how often have you wondered how the product would look if it was designed differently? What if these edges were curved? What if the sleeve was longer? What if we could take elements from multiple products and combine them to create a new one? Our curious minds would love to be able to visualize the designs that we have just imagined. Unfortunately, the tools to make consumers a part of product design is still limited to basic levels of personalization. Let us take the example of the fashion industry. Personalization in this industry has mainly revolved around recommending the right apparels to customers. This could mean the right fits, the right cuts, or even the right accessories to team up for a look. AR and VR have made it possible now for customers to virtually try on these products. At Accenture Labs, we have done extensive research on creative AI where we leverage AI to assist humans in the design process. It is about taking the big leap from using AI for data sciences to using AI for creativity. We have developed the Creative Design Assistance Platform, which can now help customers step into the shoes of a designer. This is the era of hyper-personalization where customers can create their own designs and have them manufactured. 
Imagine that a customer likes elements from multiple dresses and would like to create a custom dress that incorporates these different elements. Our platform makes this possible at the click of a button. Customers may also like to try different colors and patterns on these apparel. With neural style transfer techniques, new design variants can be generated at speed and at scale simply at the click of a button. By incorporating such hyper-personalization, brands can move from mass production to a more on-demand production, which can reduce the problem of unsold inventory, which plagues the fashion industry today, and can also help increase sales and ROI, as studies suggest that 40% of customers are willing to spend more if they can personalize their products. Accenture recently released its 16th annual research report based on a survey of more than 25,000 consumers across 22 countries. This survey tried to understand how companies can capitalize on the evolving consumer expectations to achieve new levels of growth and competitive ability. This report finds that consumer values and buying motivations have fundamentally changed they have shifted away from price and quality. It also reveals that 49% of customers are ready to switch to another provider if they provide virtual tryout tools and shopping advisory services digitally. Several other studies also suggest a great conversion rate when product pages include 3D and AR. In today's virtual world, the demand for 3D models is ever increasing, but 3D modeling still remains an expensive, time-consuming, and largely human-intensive process. Our Creative Design Assistance platform has a suite of 3D design assistants, which use the power of AI to automatically generate 3D models and style them. Such technologies can help involve consumers in the design process more than ever, and also introduce new ways for consumers to interact with the products. Imagine if it was possible for consumers to search for products based on hand-drawn sketches. Imagine also that consumers could design their own products and visualize it in 3D, all from a simple sketch. Advanced AI technologies can make this possible and also help customize and style these designs based on customers' liking. By leveraging augmented reality, customers can apply colors and patterns from their own living space to personalize these products further. They can also virtually try out the products at their home. Such an experience helps build customer confidence in these chosen products and helps increase sales. I'd like to now invite Alpana back to walk you through the next level of experience in engaging customers. Thanks, Uma. So let's move our focus to another area that we call as multi-sensory experience. Here we are working on broadening human experiences beyond sight and sound. As mentioned earlier, in order to have truly engaging experience, retail sector needs to look beyond 3D visuals. That is, they need to include virtual simulations of other senses, for instance, smell, sound, touch, and taste. We can imagine now the product models, which were used to be the 3D model only, or the image should be enriched with their sensory profiles that include aroma profile, touch point profile, etc. And what we have observed that the field of virtual experience has evolved a lot in the recent time with multi-sensory technologies. We find these technologies being used in entertainment industry, such as movies and gaming, where focus is to create an awesome experience, not much on creating variations of experiences based on product features, such as material. But for this technology to become a commonplace in e-commerce, we need to we need an ability to intelligently and automatically create new experiences. For instance, we may need an ability to synthesize aromas to create variations, 
while creating a perfume or we may need to create a varying texture experience through haptics dynamically based on the material being used at accenture labs we developed solution to dy dynamically synthesize multi sensory experiences so accenture labs multi sensory experiences platform helps create unique sensory profiles for product based on their uh, elements like materials or the things which has been used ismet simulation and formulation ai solutions also help in producing virtual try on experience here we see an example where consumers can virtually try out perfumes they can also personalize their perfume by customizing the intensity at various ingredients and creating their own signature perfume what you see here is a device which actually emits the smell based on the synthesized experience which consumers have tried out we can even go one step further and share this smell with friends over the internet and the our this solution leverages ai to deeply understand consumers unique sensory preferences and makes the right recommendations of product in the design process of that and we can imagine that this kind of solution would help likes of amazons and flipkarts providing functionalities to smell the product before purchasing at the comfort of their home with this i will move to the next experience so what we saw so far was mainly augmenting 2d experiences with aroma or maybe adding one more sense in the 2d but this may not work always for many kinds of products where it may work for perfume but it may not work for the products where uh, visual elements such as shape and texture also matters a lot for example food we all know that texture color and smell plays an important role while deciding a food item and immersive 3d food visuals and vis multi sensory experiences can give consumers a near realistic sense of food flavor taste or texture and it will bring product closer to the interested buyers and would help them make a more confident purchase mm -hmm. such experiences will help create a very unique and memorable experiences for consumer it can create an in store feeling in the digital environment and it would increase consumer engagement and sales in summary the advances in multi sensory experiences and 3d has opened doors to engage with consumers greatly it's not just that it will help businesses to drive more sales and profitability but it has great potential to reduce wastage as consumers will be able to make more informed decision with this i would just want to introduce about our accenture labs we are located at seven locations as you can see here and work in number of areas to help our clients reimagine the future and make them ready for the future thank you everyone for listening to us and would be happy to take any question